and I'll give myself a simple title, right, King. So he killed everybody, then asked me whether I wanted to die, and uh, I gave him the whole of the southeast of England. Mm. Tough negotiator. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Knock, knock. Hey, 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 now. What's he want to be god of? I'm sorry? It's just we've got loads of gods we've been worshipping for years, so we're not going to stop worshipping men. I defeat the Danes and create a new country that today you call England. Ordeal by cake? So what? Have you never heard the old saying, just because you give a horse a piece of cake doesn't mean to say the goat is no longer hungry, huh? There, done. That is the last I'm going to be hearing from those Vikings. <laughs> Stop, press! Edmund II died from dagger up the bottom! <laughs> oh, that is... Everyone feared him. The warrior king who brought peace this summer. Canute the Great! There's half a Canute! There's a quarter of a Canute, except not the last one, until in 1042, an Englishman gets the throne again. It's Edward the Confessor! Hooray! 1066, saw a Harold in a fix. Oh, I better build another church. I'm about to do something really bad. <laughs> Lord Gerald, you're the finest doctor in England. You're with me. The rest of you, do what you like. It's a kind of eel. Well, nice. Give me, give me crown and take a chance on me. To the you. Ah. They beat him to death on the altar of Canterbury Cathedral, the holiest place in the whole of England. I've said I'm sorry. Are we going to do this now, Reg? I just... No, we're not. Shush. Oh, I wasn't wearing any armour. <laughs> you went into battle without wearing any armour? Oh, totes. That's how I roll. That's how I roll with strong knee-jerk decisions. All right. You say potato, I say potato. You say Scotland. I say excellent potential for an extension to my English kingdom. Look, we are trying to have a royal wedding here. You see, 50 years ago, Richard's great-great-grandpa, Richard II, was kicked off the throne by Henry's great-great-grandpa, Henry IV. Why? I killed ten score at Agincourt, then Henry VI arrived. <laughs> And the country is filled with peace and rainbows and prancing lambs and pretty coloured flowers. Remember him? Well, you can forget about him, because it's 1471 and Warwick is killed in battle, then Henry is executed, which means Edward can take back the crown for the Yorkies. A badger! A badger! My kingdom for a badger! Yes, yeah, I can totally see why you think this is the real Edward, Earl of Warwick. Come here, you spiky little milk thief! <laughs> no, Mr Bumcheek. What was that? No, Mr. Cheek. Ooh, this is nice. I could get used to this. I don't think so. Meaning my legacy was ruined. See. Has anyone got any matches? I fancy burning some Protestants. P.S. Wish you were here so I could cut your head off. Guy Fox tried to blow me up but turned me into Stuart Stew. Got a French wife. She's a Catholic. Oh, Lord. These bad boys. One that looks like a plane. On oh, a plane? <laughs> Richard takes over, but he's about as much use as a jelly pickaxe. Oh, he's got it. I don't know what it is, but he's got it. I love him. His brother, James II, who is a Catholic, always has been, and not just for a couple of minutes. And so they chuck him out and bring in his daughter and her husband from Holland, that's William and Mary, and they decide that England is definitely Protestant, as it is today, but only after 185 years of going Catholic, Protestant, Catholic, Pro... Bus? Uh, no, the other word. Yeah. And I was the bad one. And in six months' time, you could have your very own beef tree. I only cry about things that matter. All right. I think you're the fittest man I've ever seen. I love you. Precious things. There are none we declare. Crisis when I stepped down as king. Don't get quicker than a queen fit fit. One's the one to trust.